Welcome to uh, Lava Lounge. I'm here with Greg Bennett uh, out of Australia. Well, actually, he's American now. Uh, I'm racing for the US this one. Yeah, yeah one. dual we are now, though. Yeah, cool. Um, you have been uh, been a journalist covering races and that you've been doing for many, many years, from ITU to non-drafting Olympic distance, and you've kind of been kind of moving up the up the uh, step ladder. And now this is your first time doing the Hawaii Ironman. Mm. Um, Tell me a little bit about your excitement doing this this event that's got a lot of legend and lore. Yeah, you know, it's um, for me this is really exciting stuff. You know, uh, I got into the sport in the mid '80s. You know, I lived it and breathed it like you couldn't believe in the late yeah. '80s and the early '90s. And you know, I had posters of Mark Allen and Dave Scott on my wall. <laughs> and you know, now I can honestly say they're friends of mine. And you know, it's that that for me is really kind of cool. Yeah. You know, and. I've watched this sport sort of grow over the last sort of three decades and been really a part of it for so, so long. And, you know, for me as an athlete, um, deep down, I've always wanted to be here. I've always wanted to experience Kona and the mystery of, you know, the Queen K and, yep. and everything that goes with it. And, and finally I'm here. And I think I would have been here sooner, but I think I was very fortunate as an athlete to find out my gifts as an athlete were right. sort of at the shorter distance. And, um, you know, so I kept my focus on that sort of career for the longest time. And, you know, last year Ironman reached out to me after I won the 5150 championship, the high V event, um, which was a super payday. And then on top of it, they said, look, you know, we'd love to have all our champions at our, at our major events and we'd love to have you in Kona. And, you know, we just need you to validate. Yep. Um, so I went and did an Ironman at the start of the year in, in Melbourne and, and got through it in about nine hours. And, you know, I would have liked to have maybe gone a little quicker sure. there. Um, but it was a very good first sort of feeling of what this is all about. And then, you know, this year it was, I really reached out to two people. I reached out to Crowey, okay. Craig Alexander and Mark Allen. And, um, when I sat down with Mark originally, we kind of laid out a bit of a plan, um, and this was already in April, May, and it was really kind of a plan that was like, ooh, this is not ideal, we'd really need maybe more time if okay. we could, um, but, you know, this is the kind of time we've got, and I'm trying to do high V. I I want to do 70.3 world champs, and then Kona again, and, and finally I said to, to Mark, I said, look, this is all great, and he was really good, and I said, look, I'm going to have to probably keep high V is still my number one focus, um, I'd love to you know, try and win there again. In the end, as it is, I, I came third, but you know, I wanted to make a good effort at trying to win there yep. again. So, you know, I've sort of come here training with, with Crowey as much as I can, learning from him as much as I can, and getting myself best prepared um, with knowing that High V was kind of the number one focus and then trying to come here as number two. Yep. And, and it'll be interesting, it'll be interesting to see how my body responds. I don't think any of us are sitting here going, oh, I'm totally ready and I've done everything I want to do. Yeah. I think, you know, I sit here going, I wouldn't mind another year to, you know, to keep my head around you know, to do some more miles or experiment with different nutrition yeah, yeah. or, you know, spend more time in humidity or do all sorts of things. And I, so you kind of sit here a little bit going, okay, this is really an unknown. You know, it's it exciting is... for you. I mean, you, you're a veteran of the sport and you feel, you probably feel like, you know, up until a couple of years ago, it's like I think I've got my head around this sport. But then you come back and come into Ironman, it's like, oh, this is this is totally unknown. Like so. Absolutely, and this is what I love about the sport, though. I mean, you know, I'm 40 now, and there's always some sort of new goal. There's always something new you can be aspiring to. You know, you've never done everything. You know, even when we've done the Olympics or we've done all the short course racing in in the U.S. and and hit all the targets in those areas, there's yeah. always feels like there's something more in the sport. And and you know, obviously. You know, Kona is the sport of triathlons, Tour de France. Yeah. It's 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 a epitome, and it's the soul of the sport. And, you know, I've been out here to watch a number of times over the last decade, and you know, good friends have won. You know, Peter Reed, Macca, yeah. Crowey. It's been a fun to be a part of all of that, and to now be on the start line. And you know, for me, it's exciting, and it's it's not as maybe as nerve wracking as um, in past. I think you know the Olympics and things had me a lot more on edge. I think this one, look. It's a lot more about you, you know, it's not about getting who's to the first boy right, first, right, right, you know, right. and uh, it's so intense. Right. This is like, okay, you've got to be on, you know, the first third of the swim, the first third of the bike, first third of the run are going to set you up for those categories. Yeah. You've got to be on in those instances, but it's a less, it's really deep down about yeah. the individual, you know, it's still a race and I have to keep telling myself it's still a race, you know, but 
I guess it's, it's still a day too. <laughs> it's a day, yeah. and, and this is where, you know, I look and it's remarkable how quick these guys go. Yeah. I mean, last year I wrote Crowey, you know, he's been a long time friend for 20 years, and I actually wrote him an email and I said, that was probably as close to perfection of a race I've ever seen, whether that's short course or Ironman or anything. I think the way he raced last year blew me away. Yeah. It was, he was well positioned in the swim, his transitions were good, his bike was extraordinary well, you know, he, and then get off and run a four, you know, a, a 244 off yeah. that um, strong bike. incredible yeah. bike. Yeah. It was just an, an amazing year to watch yeah. last year. And, um, you know, that's why this year I'm like, what else? I think he's tired of me asking <laughs> you questions, you know. I, I'm out the other day, it was myself and Tim O'Donnell and, and Crow, we were on a long run. And, if it wasn't me asking him questions, it was T.O. asking him questions. <laughs> and what else? And what, and what happened last year? And, uh, and uh, I think we're, we're far worse than most amateur age groupers out there that are asking all the questions. But like, and what else? And, and to his credit, you know, Crow is the incredible champion that he is. He's just been giving you all the unbelievable. Oh, cool. and, uh, and I'm like, why are you giving me so much information? You don't rate me at all? What? <laughs> no, no. It's not like that. But it's been, it's been a really good learning lesson from him. And... Um, you know, for me, my ideal goal is I just love to be a part of the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the sense that I, I want to be up there. Yeah. And I don't know what that up there means just yet, but I want to feel like I'm. That's I don't have true. to be breaking away on the bike sure. or anything else. But if I can be a part of that race that's up the front, um, I'll be I'll be really delighted. You know, I'm really looking forward to that. Cool, cool. Well, uh, yeah, definitely hope you have a have the day you're looking for, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Thanks. you out there again, having covered you yeah. for years and years. It'll be fun to see you out there uh, playing with with uh, the big boys. Out yeah, on this course, no, so. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be an experience. Cool. Yeah. Great. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you.